Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I want to talk to you guys about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S8 that will be coming out sometime around this year. And we all know that Samsung is going to be taking their time with this device to make sure there aren't any you know, disasters that were originally from the Galaxy Note 7. And, you know, you guys don't need me to remind you about this. And if you're new to my channel, I mean, you probably heard the news somewhere else. Note 7 batteries exploded, therefore... Uh, you know, cause for recalls, and then end up manufacturing of the device uh, got shut down completely. Well, the Galaxy S8, you know, what Samsung is doing differently, which the link to the article that I read will be in the description below. Definitely give that a read. You know, basically, Samsung is going to be using a Japanese supplier versus the Chinese supplier uh, for their batteries uh, because the original company that they went with, you know, those were, uh, those were where they got the batteries from that cost issues so Samsung is going to try a new company to see when the S8 rolls out if they're going to have any battery issues whatsoever and I'm pretty sure no I am 100% sure maybe a thousand percent sure Samsung will be testing the batteries drastically to make sure uh, this does not happen again and I'm pretty sure that the battery will be nice and flat because one of the problems with the Note 7 battery was that you know Due, uh, due to the hardware they had to make the components smaller therefore the the battery i guess couldn't handle it uh, too well and i'm pretty sure it was slightly bent but due to the curved design of the note 7 you know samsung did release an actual uh, reasoning you know, from their analysis why the note 7 batteries exploded and i remember you know while it part of the reason was the battery it being bent a little you know it also had something to do with the components that they insert it into the phone you know onto the motherboard i bet and the phone the components just got smaller so i i mean it it must have been a little bit finicky with i don't remember the exact article to be honest i remember did explaining it somewhere uh, but you know the components were causing the battery issues as well you know or triggered the battery issues therefore you know samsung is going to try a new supplier and you know hopefully uh, uh, you know hopefully the galaxy s8 doesn't have these kinds of issues i mean the note 7 was an awesome phone just by looking at it you know i got my galaxy note 4 well it's charging on my desk right now because i just drained the battery but i mean the note 7 just by looking at it was an amazing phone i wish that it didn't have this problem because i'm pretty sure it would have almost outsell and like the top competitors out there you know iphone and then uh, you know a few other android devices but uh, i mean the note 7 i was just keen onto that phone you know and the s7 edge i would say is the second keen yeah but you know with the note 7 exploding and all that that pretty much killed it for everyone so you know hopefully the new s8 doesn't have that problem and i heard that you know samsung was still gonna go uh on with the note series and keep it alive so the next phone should be the galaxy note 8 and you know there were times where i questioned myself hey you know the s7 edge got the curved design you know and i actually took took a look at it in the store one time it looked pretty cool and, and plus you know i'm wondering if if i were to get a new phone do i want to get the edge model or do i want to stick with the note series because i i don't ever use the s pen to be honest uh, i mean I love the Note 4 due to its size. And you know what? The Edge model, while the screen was 0.2 inches smaller than the Note, you know, that 0.2 inches doesn't make a big difference, really. Uh, I mean, the size is still about the same. You know, over 5 inches is what I'm looking for, pretty much. So 5.7 is great. I mean, 5.5, I'm not going to be too uh, picky about it with 0.2 inch, inches smaller. But, you know... It's just about the same size. And, you know, sometimes I question myself, do I want to get the Edge model or do I still want to stick with the Note series model? It depends on what I, you know, what my preferences are. If I love the curved corners or and I love, or do I love the semi-curved corners but still kind of square. You know, the square corners, the, the square rounded corners are on the Note phones. And the curved rounded corners are on the Edge phones, the S Edge phones. You know, don't even consider the Galaxy S 
uh, phones for me because uh, while those screens are 5.1 inches, you know, the Edge models, the S7 Edge is just five and a half inches. That's what I would get. You know, I would get uh, like the biggest phone I can get unless if it's about like like 6.2 inches then i probably feel like okay maybe too big for a phone and at this point i would just go a little bit bigger to get a tablet that's just how i see it it's just something with the a big smartphone to me or a phablet if you guys want to refer to it that way you get much more screen real estate for reading doing email web browsing watching movies you know, playing games, I mean, that extra screen real estate is what I like, because it's like I'm almost using a laptop computer, almost. I mean, my MacBook Pro right here, 15 inches, my Lenovo E540 is 15.1, you know, now my external monitor, 25 inches, it's like, I just like to use huge devices, I don't know, I mean, the, the, the smartphones, the phablets, I'm a big fan of the big screen size. That's why, like, you know, when I look at an iPhone 5 or an iPhone SE, it's like, really? Even the 7 or the 6 and the 6S, you know, the 4.7-inch models, I'm like, really? You know, that's why like, I'm so keen to the Plus models of the iPhones. I just prefer Android because that's my operating system of choice for mobile devices. But when it comes to computers, I'll go between Mac and PCs all day long, you know. I'll, I'll jump through either one. But other than that, you know, I'm really hoping that the S8 uh, is not going to have the same issue. And, you know, my question is, what is Samsung going to do differently other than switching suppliers to ensure that we are not going to have the same issue with the Note 7? Because the last thing we want is for the same thing to happen. And then Samsung will might as well just get out of the cell phone business, which I don't want them to get out of the cell phone business. I really love their products. And the, you know, out of which Android manufacturer of phones that I would get, you know, Samsung is probably my top choice right there. HTC, I would say, be my second. And then Motorola would be my third. And then, of course, if it was iPhone, well, it's only Apple, so that's all I can get for an iPhone. But, I mean, what I think Samsung might do differently other than changing the suppliers that they get their batteries from, is to use the components that the battery is meant to handle and to not resize the components without reconsidering do they have to change the battery. Otherwise, like, if you change from one component to another, then obviously that affects the battery performance, therefore you have to change the battery. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the same issue from the Note 7 and therefore, they're going to be making recalls, and then they're going to be losing tons of money from that releasement of the S8. So I am keen that it's not going to happen again, and if it does happen again, and if they come out with a Note 8, you know, I'd like to see how that's going to go out. But other than that, you know, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also, check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, Instagram. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Thank you.